Good morning everyone, Val here. And this morning's breakfast is going to be three eggs with cheese. And I'm cooking some bacon. Steve is home today. It is actually Labor Day when I'm recording this. We've decided really not to do anything and just have a rest day today. I've got my fiber drink back here with my vitamins. And uh, I think he's going to be working outside. I've got to get my Bible study done for my <clears throat> Tuesday morning class. So I'm going to be just kind of relaxing and reading my Bible and doing my Bible study this morning. Because yesterday after church, I just stayed busy all day. I, I worked on... Uh, the beans and I worked on put getting the squash, uh, not the squash, but the pumpkin put up and uh, then did dinner. And I didn't get much uh, time for the craft room. Well, I didn't get any time for the craft room, but I didn't really get any relaxation time until uh, I sat down at night. So today I'm going to sit down and take it easy this morning. And when I get my Bible study done, I'm going to uh, probably edit a couple of videos if I have time to do that before I go online because I do want to go online with my mom and my sisters today. But I did yesterday too because I did that while I was while I was uh, doing my kitchen work. I have my portal down here, so this is a Facebook portal. That's I can. Uh, messenger, uh, you know, live messenger with my family. And that's usually what we do in the afternoons. So we get online, so we all kind of have some company. Both my sisters, well, my sister lives with her daughter, but uh, my other sister lives alone, my mom lives alone, and most days I'm alone at home because Steve is working. So it gives us somebody to chat with while we're doing our crafts and stuff. So it works out really well for all of us. So I'm going to continue cooking my breakfast. Not very exciting plans for today. Um, but I will, uh, I'll try to go through the boxes that mom uh, donated, the, the items mom's been knitting that she's donating to from the Heart Stitchers and show you all of that lovely stuff and Get that uh, tagged and put aside for the stitches group. And uh, Patty's got a couple of things she donated. I have laundry I need to do, which I'll do while I'm doing my Bible study. I'll just have it in the wash machine or dryer. And uh, we'll go from there. So I'll come back in a, a little bit and let you know how much I get done. And uh, see what's in the boxes. We're back in the craft room. I'm going to go through the boxes that my mom and my sister gave me and uh, I'll go through those and show you the things they gave me. This was a blanket my sister was working on. She was doing the trim on it while we were up there playing cards. We all knit while we play cards. But uh, this is a pretty little pattern. Looks like it is uh, crocheted. That does, um, looks like a pearl stitch. Maybe it's knit kind of looks like a pearl stitch. So um, this is definitely a knit stitch going down the middle of it. So this is what she made. I'm going to throw this in the wash because it does have a little bit of uh, dog hair on it. She has a dog. And we're going to wash this up and uh, donate it. Can't get that hair off. And donate it to From the Heart Stitchers. They'll get it to a good home for someone in need in a nursing home or something. I'm going to go through these boxes, so I'm going to lay this stuff out and I'll show you everything else that they gave me to donate. She gave me two pieces of fur. One's uh, really pretty, kind of pinkish purple. And then this one's blue. And these I'm going to use to make the little stuffed bears that I make for the babies. Then in her box there was a pair of mittens. There's some hats that she made, and this is Patty. There's a couple of the hats that she made. A uh, child's hat. And I know that they're looking for hats right now, for children's hats. Um, not quite fall yet, but they're starting to collect them. And then these are the other hats, and these are from my sister Patty. 
Those will be put in with the collection stuff. And then she makes the um, dialysis bags, which they look for these all the time. So these are the little dialysis bags that she makes for kidney dialysis. These are really pretty. These are all the... And I'll have to get these tagged for her. And I'll have to, once I get everything tagged and ready to go, pick a date to go down to the, to Richmond, to the center, to turn in all of these items. Which one's your favorite? Well, that's a pretty, ooh, that's pretty. I like that with the heart on it. What's your favorite? That one's pretty. Alright, let's see what we got. This one is this is cute. Great way to use extra fabric. Just kind of got it quilted in there. Or that's one piece. That is one piece. Huh. That's neat. Paisley. A couple of those. Yep, there you go. Those are really nice. So I'll get those tagged. I'm going to get those back in the box and I'll get mom stuff that she made and uh, show you that. Patty also made these little bags and they're like size 12 by 13. They have handles. They aren't lined. They're just kind of simple little bags. Now she's going to send me some more of these. I think I have, what, uh, seven of these. She's. I'm going to use these on my trip to Columbia. We're going to fill them with items for the girls in the girls home um, shampoo and conditioner and toothpaste toothbrush lotion stuff like that so we're gonna put that in the, these bags and uh, Patty's donating these to our trip to uh, Columbia these are all of the beautiful patterns and colors that she has so very nice. Thank you so much, Patty. We are going to really love handing these out to the girls. And the last thing I have from Patty is these soap pouches. And the uh, from the Heart Stitchers uses these. They hand them out to people in need. So she's made the different color pouches, and then she's put bars of soap into each of these. She had a couple extra that she made the last day I was there. And she didn't have the soap to put in them, so she just sent those along. The The center can get them some soap bars for those. But uh, that's pretty awesome. It's a great way to use up old yarn. And this is a crochet stitch that she's using here. So in Mom's box, I have to donate a baby blanket. Isn't that pretty? This is crocheted. It's a great way to use up scrap yarn. Yarn that maybe isn't enough for something else, but uh, it works up really pretty in a baby blanket. I also have two hats. I have these. These are either, uh, you can put them on your seats of your chairs for a cushion for your seats, or you can use them as hot pads on your table. Or you could even put them like under flower pots or something so that your flowers aren't dripping onto the floor. Um, my mom makes those. She had a pair of gloves in there. These are, she does the plastic canvas and she made four smiley faces. She has some American flags. And she has some candy canes for the tree. So she has a few of each of those. These are all of her half mittens. She makes these for the cancer patients. Um, they donate them to the cancer center. So she has all different colors here. There's some of these are, I've stacked them the same color twice, uh, which is great. Lots and lots to donate there. And then she has some mittens here. And see all the pretty colors that she does. They make up really, really nice. And she has such a nice stitch. Um, she always has knitted, very neat knitting. Um, really, the, the stitches are all even. They look really good. And uh, these are all the things in the uh, afghan, or the blanket there. 
this is what my mom has been doing and it's probably just been like two months because I went up there a couple months ago and she gave me another box of stuff so I have to get all of this tagged for the donation along with my sister's stuff but I want to thank my mom and my sister Patty for all this hard work that they're putting in uh, so that I have something to donate to from the Heart Stitchers that'll go to people that really need it. So it gives you kind of a reward for the hard work that you're doing. I did finish three hats. I have another one this color almost done. I think I showed you those already but uh, I have those ready too. So I'm going to get all this stuff tagged but first I need to be editing some video because it's going on uh, let's see 11:30. I have about an hour or so before I go online with my mom so uh, I'm going to do a little bit of editing on some videos. I'm in the craft room. This is what I'm working on today. I'm working on some Christmas placemats for the kitchen. I'm doing a green on the back of these. I've got, I'm going to do four for us. Um, I just am running out of this thread so I just ordered some more thread I can't I'm gonna stop I'm not gonna use a different color I've got to wait till the thread comes in so that I can match the thread but I have uh, four more pinned or three more pinned ready to go a total of four and then I did four more tops I've got to cut the bottoms out I ordered some more fabric because I didn't have enough of the green so I'm gonna use a different color for the backs of these and these will go on my sale so that's what I'm working on in the craft room I'm gonna go to the kitchen that's yeah you know, I got all that cut out so I'm gonna go to the kitchen and work on dinner and that's it for the craft room for today I did finish my three loads of laundry everything's folded or hung up I just have to put it away so that's as far as I've gotten so far tonight's dinner is a garden salad got lettuce cauliflower carrots and cucumber out of the garden got chicken breast fried and I have homemade mac and cheese it's uh, made with uh, Velveeta so this is going to be our dinner tonight Thank y'all for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to. And remember, it's all about the adventure. I will see you on tomorrow's video. Bye now.